Hey guys, today we're working on the front drive shaft extension. Uh, if you're new to the channel, maybe jump back a few episodes in the playlist and see how this mess all started. So anyway, no need to wait around, let's get into it. So with the front drive shaft extension, the front drive shaft is an 18 millimetre diameter, but all I could get was 16 millimetre diameter uh, round bar. So what I did was to align it, I just used a couple of bits of uh, right angle and clamped it onto the current drive shaft stub that I cut off. And then got two, two washers of a millimetre each and placed them on the edge here. I want to see, you put that under there and under there, and then that aligns that 16mm bar with the 18mm bar. Um, I pushed the stub axles right in as hard as they went into the front diff and, and into the transfer case, I guess you call it, and measured it, cut to size, so it fitted in neatly with a little bit of pressure. And then the ends of the extension piece, I um, chamfered in the bench grinder so it had a nice angle on it to get plenty of weld and penetration into it and then you'll see in the time lapse I worked my way around welding welding um, weld that right in and then I ground it all back and the reason I put the little um, rags on there with water on it is just to cool down the shaft a little bit so I don't get too much heat soak into the, the grease inside the joints and into the rubber seals as well so hopefully it's worked the drive shaft is so one thing I'm not sure about with the drive shaft is I think it's stationary when it's in two wheel drive and hopefully it engages only in four wheel drive so obviously this isn't a balanced shaft I don't think it'll be out by a lot but if it's spinning at a high RPM when you're going fast and four wheel drive it's probably going to vibrate but I don't care about that too much like if it's if it only engages when I'm in four wheel drive, I only use that for slow speed. If I start to get stuck, as long as it doesn't spin in two wheel drive, I think I should be good. So, if not, I rip it out, go get it balanced, and uh, put it back in. It's not that hard in the position it's in. So, yeah, all good. So yeah, finished product, pretty simple. Seals back on, shaft, cleaned up the welds, should be strong enough. And just enough clearance underneath the floor, so should be all good. Um, then I'll put the floor plates in here like I've started to do on the other side. Um, probably have fixed floor plates here and removable floor plate in the middle so I can get down to where the coolant hoses and all this sort of stuff is, so that's the plan. 